These 100 lucky teens have landed on Mars, sort of. They're spending the day in the barren hills of north central Gansu province. It's a place where they can experience life on the red planet without leaving Earth. The Mars Base One camp has nine capsules, including an airlock room, a control room, and a biomodule room, which were all designed to support astronauts living on Mars. Now we're in a sleeping capsule, and here are beds for the astronauts. Through the window, we can see a simulation of the Martian desert landscape. I am very happy to be here at this Mars base today. Our teacher led us to see the monolith, a crater, and a Mars cave. Everything is very interesting. It's better than the Mars I had imagined. Stirring the imaginations of young people is the goal of this Mars simulation base camp, the brainchild of a Chinese media company and Gansu officials. Space exploration is very far from the lives of ordinary people. We hope the simulation bases will let them feel the spirit of space exploration and not just experience the technology behind it. That's the spirit behind China's space dream, the country's goal to become a world leader in outer space by 2049. These young volunteers are also sowing the seeds of that dream inside a simulated space lab. They're observing how plants and animals can coexist in a lunar environment. This project gives us a better understanding of what it's like to live and conduct explorations on the moon in a longer period of time. We will also need this kind of system if we go to Mars. Young people dream big, and they're ambitious. They're not afraid of making mistakes. One of those risk takers is Hu Zhenyu. He is currently China's youngest space entrepreneur at the age of 26. Who had startup LinkSpace, which successfully performed a vertical takeoff and landing test twice in two months. He believes these short launches are the first steps in a new business model in the space industry, sending small satellites into orbit at a fraction of the price of traditional rockets. When rockets change from being one-offs to being reusable, the launching costs and reliability will be much more optimized. I think that's essential for private companies who want to survive this industry in the next few years. Back at the Mars camp in Gansu province, where a large number of people live in deep poverty, organizers say these programs are key to spreading the word about space early on and the message that nothing is out of reach. We hope that the base can inspire young people to look up at the stars and achieve their dreams. Francis Coe, CGTN.